So before getting into it directly in the family creation, the complex family creation work, let's first initial stage, we should understand how the parametric family creation works. Okay, so I just opened one of the generic template from the family. You have to go here in the file, go to the new, select this family, open this one imperial or metric if you want you can go to this one and the metric all the templates are same then find a generic model this one you have to use this one so basically when you don't have any idea which category you wanted to create a family in which category it's coming like suppose a case work suppose a duct or furniture whatever lightning family or anything then you should use the generic model and you just need to open it so this will show like this so first of all let's understand what is this like crosshair like looks like you know um, one is uh, going vertical one is going horizontal so basically this is called reference plane if you go on the create you'll find this reference plane here as well shortcut key is rp and there is one more thing reference line don't get confused be careful while using reference plane and reference line we are going to learn about the reference line soon so let's focus on reference plane so basically just understand the reference plane works just like uh, you have your steering on your car it means that a reference plane controls the parametric the parameters and everything by using the editing option in it if you want to give a kind of dimension or anything it will change and affect uh, the families according to it. So basically, if you go here in the front side, we don't have any anything up here. So I just created one of the height which is showing up here. Let me delete that for now. I'll create one more for you. So suppose you want to create a new uh, parameter now here. We are in the front elevation. So if you want to create another kind of a steering, uh, another RP. That is called reference plane then you have to press rp on the keyboard so in such scenario i want to control the height so i just created one rp on the top and i'll go here in the reference level and i'll create rp here as well like this one on or this horizontal and one more vertical like this way okay and now what i do i'll select this one of it and press mm to mirror it to other side i'll select this center i'll do like this i'll select this one element and this uh, reference plane i'll press mm select like this so you got a square kind of shape currently so let's extend it a little bit if you want to extend you'll select the element and you can see this bubble and just try to align it it will look better okay and it is always recommended to whenever you wanted to basically create a families in rabbit always work in millimeters it's up to you but my choice is i always prefer working in millimeters to give you a better precision so for that reason and let's set this skill to 10. so now what i do is actually we got the reference plane means that we got the steering for the car now what i do is actually press di and the dimension is the dimension key is activated so now what you do is actually you have to select one of the reference plane select this one then select the middle and then just click somewhere else like this way okay let me scale it a little bit okay you can see now 778 778 millimeters okay so what you have to do is basically let's understand why we need to create like this way so basically if uh, suppose i have one extrusion let's go and create an extrusion select this create extrusion and select this rectangle and i'll just create extrusion like this way here only and i'll click okay nothing else now go in the front you see that extrusion is here okay somewhere here also i'll just put it like this way in the middle of the air okay so we got an extrusion so now what we have to do is so that this extrusion should get controlled by this uh, you can say uh, the driver handle you know it means a reference plane so to for your better understanding i'm just calling this one as a, a steering like that so you'll be able to understand like what i'm talking about so i want that this extrusion this one the face should attach to this one so that when we're going to change the length this will become length it will change its shape as well 
So what you have to do is actually first I have created a dimension like this way. So you have to select the dimension and press EQ. Now what will happen if we press EQ? This both reference plane become the equivalent from the center. What I do if I select this one, if I use my uh, down key on the keyboard, if I just drag it, you can see that it's changing its shape. And meanwhile, it's also changing its shape here as well. But we want to actually control it from the all the way. So what we have to do is actually I press AL. I select this reference plane. I select it here, lock it to the place, select this face, lock it to the place. Just you have to do the same thing for the all side and make sure to lock it. If it is not locked, it's not going to work. And also, if I didn't do this, then if I try to move it, it will only move on the one side. It's not going to move from the center and take the equivalent. So for that reason, you're using the equivalent, this one. Now, let's go on the front side. Let's add it as well here. AL, align it, lock it to the place, align in the bottom, lock it to the place. Quite simple now. Now press DI and then select this one and this one on the top and do like this. And one more here we need for this equivalent. Make it EQ. Do like this. So we got an equivalent, you know, the shape. And now we then need to turn this dimension to the uh, basically the two parameters. Now it will become parametric. So how it works? Select this dimension. Go to your dam modify. You'll open see this label. Go here and create like a depth and this is showing the discipline under common the type parameter is length of course the dimension it will automatically understand this is a length parameter and the grouping i'll help you to basically understand what is mean this grouping so i'll just click okay for now okay depth is already there so basically i have already created so that's why it's showing so what we can do we can cancel it and here, if you select this, you can assign it as well. If you've already created, you can assign it directly. It will change its shape automatically. I have the length as well. I can directly assign it like that as well. So if you want to create, you can create that as well. And go to the front, press DI, give a height, select that, and just simply go to the height. Like this, it will change that shape as well. Now, let me unpin this and do it like here. Bring back. Now, if I go in the property, so this is called the groupings, which you see here. So if I go to this one to edit, I can edit that as well. You can see the group parameters under dimension. If I group this to others, you will see an other grouping name is actually created. So this is how it works. Okay. So you have to select that again back and put that back again under dimensions. So you have to go and select that dimension here. And click OK. It's so went back. So if I now to try to change the shape, you can give like depth two meter, height three meter. Uh, maybe this is like a 500 millimeters, like that. Apply, and it immediately change its shape, like this. So this is the basic fundamental of creating parametric family creation. Once you understand this logic, you can create any type of families on it.